Merry Christmas Eve. I wanted to make a quick video with my pumpkin bread um, recipes that I've learned from Sharon Smith. She was one of my very amazing, wonderful, kind friend in Leesburg, Florida. I learned to make this from her, I think around 2013, no, 2003, 2004, and it is so, so yummy, so moist. Like, you have never had pumpkin bread like this in your entire life. It's so good. Anyways, um, every year I usually get uh, friends, family members that's known me for the last 20 years making this. Uh, they want my, the recipe, so I'm thinking... Well, instead of texting recipe or whatever every year, I'll just make a video and then post it and share it. So if you want moist, sweet, amazing pumpkin bread that children devours and adults alike, this is the recipe. I'm going to get my son Ethan to help me. He's going to video while I mix everything up. Come on. Let's go. All right. Okay, over here on this side. All right, so we're gonna do like three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You can pause it, son. We just put three and a half cups of flours, all-purpose flours. Now we're gonna put well, the recipe requires three cups of um, sugar. I use the pure cane sugar, organic, because um, it's much healthier and tastes amazing other than, rather than the uh, white refined sugar. These are so much healthier and more flavorful in my opinion. I don't use three cups. I'm not trying to help the population get diabetes. I'm making it yummy, but I reduce one cup of sugar. So I'm just gonna do two. Now we're going to put one and a half, or actually I put two, two tablespoon, teaspoon of baking soda. I don't really measure everything perfectly. As you can see, it's not a measuring spoon, but it works. I usually don't measure when I cook. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Turns out yummy. And like a half teaspoon, that was a little bit more than a half teaspoon, uh, baking powder and one, one, okay, come on, come on one and a half teaspoon of salt. Close enough. All right, here's my favorite part. I just sprinkle, oops. I just sprinkle, tape that, show that. I am. Okay. A good shake of um, cloves, ground cloves, and then nutmeg, about the same amount. Some people like more, some people like less. My favorite is the cinnamon, like one teaspoon. You just keep on shaking. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Lots of cinnamon, so more cinnamon than um, other ingredients. So all my dry ingredients are in there. Excuse me. When I mix the dry ingredients, come over here. Just like that. And then I'll start adding the liquid ingredients. One cup. Let me see if this is one cup. One cup of water. And then one cup of vegetable oil. Okay. And then one large can, can of um, pumpkin pie mix. You can use the Libby's 
I got this from Aldi and it works great. I've used it for years and it works phenomenal. The oven is ready. I preset the oven to 350. So preheat your oven at 350 while you're mixing this. Okay. Now I'm going to add the eggs. All right. Zoom in on that. As in all things, every day, we give our God praise for his love, mercy, goodness, and grace. Because all good gifts come from our Heavenly Father above. It Over says, here. this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? <laughs> Alright. So. Five eggs. I've used six before. And it's delicious. I love eggs. And they're good for you. But five is sufficient. One more. Okay. Now that I've got my wet ingredients in there, I'm going to use a blender. Come follow me. Excuse me. <gasps> All right. And just, do you want to do this, sweetheart? And I'll do the video. No, okay. All right. You mix it about, let's see, I think less than a minute. And I'm going to taste it to see if I need to add anything else. less than a minute maybe 45 seconds very very good if I want to make it sweeter I'll just add more sugar but I think I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon more cinnamon because I love cinnamon and cinnamon is very good for you eat lots of cinnamon all right Come to a side where you can see me pour. Okay, he can pause. Pour a little less than that, son. Perfect. He's doing a great job. Yep, just pour like that. That's perfect. It's like 95% full. Good job. I love making these. The kids love it when they see the flowers and the heart shape. And then when they taste it, it's like, oh my gosh, it's so good. We gave some to our neighbors. They have three children, small children and an 11-year-old big boy, plays football. And Ethan and him have become uh, football, basketball buddies. And anyways, we dropped some off to them around Thanksgiving. And then Christmas, uh, a couple days ago, and they just devoured it. And then yesterday, they showed up at our front door with their um, 
mom's fresh homemade Christmas treats and it is so delicious. Okay, pour that in the big container there. All of it. Okay, don't uh, use that spatula and scoop every single bit out. are ready to bake. Watch out, it's hot. So I put the hearts and the flower ones on. on the top. Hmm, how did I do it the other day? Hmm, back up, back up. Okay, there we go. And the loaf pan down here. I'm going to set the timer over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set the timer. First for about 17 minutes for the muffins. And then when the muffins are done, I pull them out and then another 30 minutes for the loaf. But since the loaf wasn't completely full, it was like half full, I'll just do like an additional 20 minutes after I pull the muffins out. And use a toothpick um, to prick in the middle of the muffins and the loaf. And if any stickiness is on the toothpick when you pull it out, then it's not done. That's pretty much it. Um, and you'll have some yummy, uh, moist pumpkin bread. And you can serve it either with butter or cream cheese or marshmallow and cream cheese mix. It's amazing. It's really, really good. Merry, Merry Christmas.